Hello everyone, just wanted to give you my initial thoughts on quantum fiber internet. If you have not heard of them, they pretty much are offering fiber internet for as low as $30 a month for 200 megs of upload and download. So that's something we wanted to try out. And we're just going to give you a quick overview and our initial thoughts. Our initial thoughts on the installation went really smooth. Right on the other side of this wall, they ran the cable to a box that goes straight to the pole. So a guy ran the wire from the pole to the box, and then another guy did the inside installation from that box that's on the other side of this wall through the hole on the wall behind this box. So this is basically a uh, how you get the Internet. It's a gateway or modem, however you want to call it. So through that hole, and what I do advise you if you have this installation, maybe the installer missed it, is you want to get a little bit of caulking or spray foam and just fill that hole if you can, just so you don't get any critters coming in your house. Although the, the modem does have grills on it, but still, uh, drafts also, so if you want to give that a shot, just do that. So my initial thoughts everything went smooth for the for the most part and I want to show you the bottom of this modem I don't have much slack here let's see yeah so this is what it looks like on the bottom let me turn it around it'll be easier to see that way so you have your cable on the left which is your power you want to make sure you have an outlet nearby or some kind of a strip like this one we are going to get a surge protector just to better protect it and you have a reset button so if there's any issues before calling support you can try resetting the device as long as you see that green there that means you're good I put a little bit of tape there because I wanted to cover the uh, Mac address and all that stuff but so your status I guess that's good too and then the fiber that white cable you see there is the one that eventually connects to that connector there which is connected to the outdoors and it goes again through that hole and to the outside and into your pole so the way you're going to wire this to your home from what the technician told me the white cable that they give you the ethernet that's the one you're going to wire from here to your router or gateway again we got the google pods which we will be giving you more information about later so you can see how they work and then he said if you ever want to use the yellow one to have like a direct connection like directly to a TV or like a Roku or any device that that you want to have the internet directly connected for the fastest speeds just use the yellow so this is designed to go like into your router or the pods that they even offer themselves but we went ahead and got our own and then this one if you just want to have direct connect like to a laptop or a desktop or your TV or Roku device or, or whatnot then just connect it directly to this so that's pretty cool now as far as how this box comes out I didn't go over that but you just push up on it just like this it comes out and I guess these uh, tabs there see how they connect to the sides that should work there okay there we go so it's pretty much clear cut and dry like I did mention, we are going to review the pods because that's what we're going to connect to this and let you know how we feel about those Google pods, the Wi-Fi Pro. I think they're Google Nest, so we're going to review those soon, do an unboxing and show you how it is connected to the Internet and our thoughts about it. So till next time, please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video.